right guys, I am back at Fairland today. I might do like a quick ride. I was supposed to meet the group here. I don't see them. It's either they're late or it's just too cold and they bailed. I think it's uh, 16 degrees. I think when I left the house it was 14 degrees. It is so cold. And these guys are nowhere to be found. Oh God, there's like ice everywhere. And here's the tracks of the bikes that have gone through. But it is kind of beautiful to be out like this in the woods. I guess I never really thought about mountain biking being really beautiful, but it is. Even in the winter like this, it feels pretty good. This is the one thing I, I do worry about is the, the roots being slippery. This part is definitely kind of cool. Feels like I got plenty of traction. My rear tire is losing pressure. Every day I have to put air in it. I think when I put the glue for the tire, I guess I didn't get it everywhere. So there's a spot that's leaking. Yeah, the ground is pretty frozen. And that's the thing, the uh, initial getting up in the morning to get to a trail, and then when you get out of your house, you get that 14th degree blast and you're like oh you know what I'm gonna stay inside drink some hot chocolate and just go on the internet go on Twitter and assault some people on Twitter but once you get past all of that it's uh, pretty fun you know you get like your heart rate up you know there's people that including me in the winter, I have a little bit of a spin bike, and I hate it, but I do it. And even riding with this, when it's cold, it still feels way much, way more exciting than being indoors on a spin bike. God, it's so boring. I like I listen to podcasts, like the. The one I really like listening to is uh, Joe Rogan. He's a really good host. I like Joe Rogan. And then I've been listening to a YouTuber named Jock, Jack Frags. He just plays video games. I love watching him play video games. You know, I think I'm gonna go straight. I went to the right before. I am very paranoid about falling ever since I saw those videos of the guys becoming paralyzed. I don't want to become paralyzed. I'm doing this counterclockwise. Normally I do it the other way. It feels absolutely different when you do it reverse. I was expecting to see those guys here. Because I don't have a phone, I don't, I don't have a way of like checking unless I get on the trail. You know, I find that I don't need to bring water in the winter. I just don't get. I don't get hot enough to really need it. There's three possibilities about those guys. <clears throat> One, they're late. Two, they canceled. Three, they parked. That's the other parking lot. I'm going towards that other lot, so 
at least we'll see yeah the fresh snow definitely zaps your energy I mean they said 8 o'clock yeah nobody's here it's actually kind of a, a nice day when you consider the sun is out like this but these guys are nowhere I kind of wanted to ride with these guys but geez what happened and I invited my friend Rosie to come yeah it's kind of hard to motivate people to ride in this sort of environment and temperature I mean I barely have enough motivation I mean it is cold and I'm a more of a warm blooded animal I like nice temperatures I never realized how pretty it was to ride in the snow like this I think this week everything's going to melt when I get a little warmer temps Zen decided to go skiing with his family. He's the one that rides most of the time. And then he's doing skiing. You yeah, know, I like skiing. I've never skied. I snowboarded once, twice, three times. But that's an expensive sport. This is the selfie bridge. They always take photos here. It just doesn't feel like it's 16 degrees, but if I stop, you'll get that. Even when I'm riding my motorcycle, I get that. I My GoPro dies within like 15 minutes if I leave it on. That's how quick these batteries die. They really just go very fast. I've never been able to keep up with anybody here. I was just too scared of falling. Yeah, it's a downhill, but it doesn't look like it's a downhill on video. But these guys, they go so quick here. And I'm always on my brakes, like over here. I know that I have to kind of go up. But if you don't know, it's a little bit of a punchy hill there. You kind of can get stuck. Less bikes have gone this way. We're at the parking lot. Now the question is, are those guys there or not? Oh, oh that feels so good to be inside. Oh, we turn on this thing. Oh, that feels good to be back inside. Oh, man. Oh, so cold. Yeah, six miles. It's, it's okay. Not, not great. Well, anyway, that was a good ride, but definitely very cold. You know, one thing I'm just finding is that when you ride in this sort of temperature, after a while, your body just kind of adjusts. And I didn't really feel cold when I was riding. I feel colder when I stop. So, but it does feel good after a, a decent ride to get back in your car. And you feel like, oh, that feels so good. Oh, boy. And um, that's pretty much the ride for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.